Volcanoes present like a really quick, rapid geology. Everything happens in catastrophic fashion and it happens quickly. And Bato is one of the most fascinating volcanological areas in the world. The stratovolcano that you see within Bato Caldera is, is a couple of, is about 10,000, 20,000 years old. And the last eruption there was in the year 2000. Within the geoscience uh, sections, the students will sharpen their observations and descriptions of what they see. They will estimate distances, scale, which is critical for geoscience. They will also learn to make direct measurements in contact with the rock itself to build up their understanding of how come this is what I observe now. What was the physical process leading to this? I definitely don't think environmental science should only be taught in the classroom. You have to go out to the field. When you go to see the landform itself, things become so interesting because things are on such a big scale. When I saw Mount Bator and the different ways the volcanoes formed, it was truly breathtaking because the caldera is an altitude where there are a lot of clouds passing over. Uh, if I have to be very honest, it made me feel a bit insignificant at that moment, like, like we are we're just uh, one person staring at a huge volcano. It really shifts our perspective on how long like, ge geological processes take and also really get to appreciate how old the Earth is and really how much time has passed even before you have arrived. There's an incredible geology all around us and yet we sit in one of the safest parts of the world in Singapore. So it's an amazing opportunity to study your region understand it better, especially from a geoscience perspective. And this geoscience field work is, is a real step into understanding geology in your region. It definitely gives perspective on how long the history of just a specific location like Mount Bator can be. And it allows us to like not only look in the past for millions of years, but also in the future for millions of years ahead. Climbing Mount Bata is a challenge, so being able to sort of overcome it and, and climb it was definitely like symbolic in its own way. It's part and parcel of this outdoor experience. Something that I didn't really think about twice when I went in. It's just really just go for it and just do it. it. It's still challenging in the sense that there are things that like you're not used to, it's not really comfortable, but at the same time, I really enjoyed the whole process. So if you're interested in environmental studies, I think just go for it. There's really nothing to lose. I think you should just go for it. Even if it's a bit daunting. Being able to do it with the friends around you, being able to do it with people who are passionate about these issues and these things that you're learning really makes it a lot easier because you sort of have very strong support both from the faculty and as well as from your friends. 